Hello everyone, welcome to the weekly Jenkins infrastructure meeting. We are the 16th of August 2022. Uh, I'm adding in the chat the link to the collaborative notes that should be exported to GitHub Jenkins Infra documentation as usual. The recording will be published. Today we have Myself, Nama du Portal, Hervé Lemeur, Marc is a PTO, Stéphane also, Basil, I think so, Tim is not there, and we have Bruno Verharten. Okay, can everyone hear me correctly? See the link, have access to the notes? Mm -hmm. okay. okay for me. Okay, let's go. Uh, the new weekly, so I saw that the WAR has been published successfully. I don't know for the rest of the checklists, to be quite honest. So uh, we might have to wait a bit before updating the Docker image. That should be updated automatically in the next few hours. I think it's the... If I'm okay. So release checklists be finished. I don't remember who is in charge of that. Uh, I will double, we can double check with Tim in the uh, Jenkins release IRC channel. But no error whatsoever, so we can start again breaking the infrastructure as usual. <laughs> Tuesday it's weekly and then breaking the infrastructure. Um, no other announcement. I don't know if you have something to share, folks. Okay, um, so upcoming calendar next Tuesday, we have a weekly. I don't know for the next LTS. Uh, we had an LTS last week, so I assume the next one will be end of September. Uh, I never remember, I, I can't remember when. So let's just use the Jenkins Infra public, the Jenkins public uh, calendar. Um, and a next security release not far as we know next major event devops world end of september <laughs> not just kidding uh, we will Hervé, bruno and i will be there so anyone interested in infrastructure can can come there let's get started what did we do since last week uh, not so much because Hervé just went back from pto today i was alone um uh, finished the Trilid API plugin fixes, which involved having to specify the Java binary path used to spawn the Jenkins agent process on all of our templates. That created a lot of chaos. I'm sorry for that. That's the value of having a team because when there is a team, they restrain myself. They restrain me from breaking things. Uh, the idea is that for GDK 8 and GDK 17 agents, we had to to add the GDK 11, the goal is we want to run Jenkins agent process with the same GDK as the controller, while the default GDK is the one expected by developer. As a developer, when you use a GDK 8 label, you expect Java dash versions to say Java 1.8 something, while the Jenkins agent process should run with GDK 11, same as our controller as for today. Um, one exception, the EC2 Windows machines, they are using GDK 11 because it's the default, so it's not blocking that issue specifically. However, um, when it will come with the GDK 17, we will absolutely need to change the default GDK for agent. And right now there is a feature request that I've opened on the EC2 plugin. Uh, Tim commented that it should be quite easy to add and should be easier than hacking around. I agree with Tim. So next step, contributing to a plugin. Anyone interested is welcome to help us, of course. Yeah, I'll probably try it. I looked at mm -hmm. uh, the modification uh, for Azure and uh, take a quick look at uh, a C2 plugin. Mm -hmm. I think I've located uh, the part uh, needing change for the Mac, Linux, and Windows uh, launcher. That's cool. Windows template. Thanks, Hervé. Not blocking the issue. Another consequence, I've opened a bug and I've contributed to the Kubernetes plugin. It's in review state. 
um, I don't know since when, but the pod agents on Jenkins were missing when connected the item system information. You were only um, able to check the pod logs and events, but not the system information, which is the GVM retrieving information about the operating system, the GVM parameters, environment, and elements. All the other agents have this, and it's quite useful on the UI for um, for admins, specifically when you want to check which GDK and which version and what, what pass is used to spawn the agent process, which was the core of this one. It is plugin contribution. And so let's see if we can improve that situation with the upcoming GDK 17. Be production proofed. When we'll change to GDK 17. If you arrive there and you are you have treated plugins breaking your infrastructure, please do the same as what we did on that infra. Check the GDK use for your agents. Is there any other question? Things. Gotcha. Next one. Puppet upgrade campaign. So our Puppet infrastructure is up to date to the latest six that something mainline. Um, all agents are using open source Puppet. But the, I rediscovered because I should have known, but I did not. Thanks Olivier for reminders. But the Puppet master is using enterprise Puppet edition with the free license for 10 nodes. Um, that means uh, if we want to add more Puppet Managed node, we are uh, close to the limit. So the proposal is to switch to open source Puppet Master for the upgrade to the 7. something version. And we keep the Puppet Enterprises for today because it's not blocking us right now. Um, at first sight, the only added value of the enterprise in our use case is the installer that should be replaced by a few command line for the upgrade. But outside this, I'm not sure there are other operational changes and we don't need support. So let's see next time. But at least we are up to date. Um, let me... But it has been updated. Um, all the issues or associated pull requests have a lot of details since it was a loan. So anyone wanting to upgrade for the next step will have to read carefully the previous pull requests. I try to put as much details as possible. Uh, writing a run book was not really interesting because it's a one step process specific to these versions. Um, what else? The, both of these issues created a lot of chaos on CI Jenkins IO. I apologize for that. But now that should be clearer and we have a road to the next puppet configuration. I hope it will help. So as I said, next item, unless you have question. So Maven 11 caused by tree lead. Fixed. Uh, sorry for that. That was a side effect of the walking around the treated part. Uh, same for the Maven Windows node of lines. I was working on changes. Um, yeah, I messed up uh, things. Next element checks API. There were an issue that was caused by update center. So that was on Daniel part. Daniel uh, mentioned that and fix it. Um, it sounds like Mark and Daniel did not communicate efficiently on the merge pull request that should have not done. Uh, thanks a lot, Daniel, uh, for jumping there. Um, thanks. The, um, he checked during 24 hours the state of the update center generation and fixed the hard link. So that was not an easy task. So yeah, that was a symlink or link issue at least. Uh, so that's okay. A user have confirmed that it was fixed uh, within the hour. So nothing else to do. Nothing expected from the infra team there. Uh, we detected the issue at the same time as the user and then we asked for help. Granting triage permission to Jenkins app done by team. So thanks team. 
And finally, as we said, we had the LTS release. So the updates uh, to that version for the four controllers, trusted, CI, CERT, and release have been done in the few hours after the release. So thanks, Alex, for leading that uh, release. And we are up to date. Any question? Nope. So now the task in progress. Um, access to N NPM namespace. So Hervé, should we move that tasks to the next uh, milestone? Yes. Okay. Do you have just a sentence to for the a quick status on this one? Yes. So um, I'm uh, currently uh, retrieving uh, the Jenkins CI uh, uh, account with uh, Tom Fennelly. Uh, I've opened uh, a reclaim uh, tickets on uh, GitHub slash npm support for retrieving uh, the Jenkins MT slash quoted uh, domain. And uh, for Jenkins, uh, um, uh, Jenkins uh, is a CD, it's owned by uh, Welding, so I don't think we have to. We should uh, let it as it is. Cool. Many thanks and, for that. Yeah. And so CEO, I'm, I'm looking uh, to know how to create uh, such organization. Cool. So I understand that we have to wait from either Tom for one and npm people for the other yes hence the move it to next milestone then thanks a lot uh, rv i didn't have time to pass on this one next one introduce an artifact caching proxy for ci jenkins io uh, why because we absolutely need to decrease the bandwidth usage to repo jenkins ci.org that's a long running subject since years and right now we are crossing some limits um uh, the idea is uh, to start with the Docker image and install one to three instances, and then see how we can configure CI Jenkins IO and eventually other uh, others to use this caching proxy. The idea is it's an Nginx server that receives requests for from MVN uh, downloads, and if it has the file, it serves it uh, from its local file system. Otherwise, it requests repo Jenkins CI and cache locally. The cache can be cleaned either by deleting files, restarting the instance, or reaching the, the maximum timestamp. Um, why three instances? Because uh, one in Azure, because we have virtual machines and agents running in Azure. Uh, the goal is to have the same region to avoid bandwidth cross-region costs. So we need one in AWS for container agent on EKS and same on DigitalOcean. But let's get started with one at first and see how it behaves. So Hervé, I asked you earlier on this morning, do you confirm you are interested on working on that? Yes. Okay, move it to next uh, iteration. So uh, we have to work just one time, both of us, to start a local instance. I need to share knowledge with you. So once you're able to run a Maven build with local caching on a local Docker image, then you should be able to proceed to the install and eventually use the old code of that because there were services that we removed two years ago. Yes, I have to look at the settings uh, Azure XML file, mm -hmm. which was uh, present uh, before. Yep. So the way we distribute the settings XML file, um, depending on which cloud, uh, Mark told us that the first settings XML could be managed by a Jenkins plugin uh, named Config File Provider, I think. That's um, a plugin that allows to pass reusable uh, configuration file for the tools. So Maven is a known tools by Jenkins. So the goal is for each agent or each build, it adds the settings XML with whatever credential you need. Um, that plugin should be able to select different settings XML based on the label of the agent. So potentially we could use labels with the correct region or cloud to specify the correct settings XML. 
we might have other solutions. Let's see, but let's start with one instance. Looks good? Yes. My dog disagree, but he doesn't have a, a paw in the in the mix. Um, so let's get started with this one. I've put a finished cleanup of mirror brain. It's blocking the migration of uh, update Jenkins uh, IO to Oracle. It's puppet work. I got some templates clean up on the PKG machine. Um, so a lot of manually manage. I need to prioritize this one uh, now now that we have a fixed Puppet environment. That one was requiring Puppet 6 upgrade and Yara version 5 for uh, hierarchy merging. Now that has been done last week, so I can proceed. Which means automatically I remove mi migrate update Jenkins IO from the milestones. I move it back to infra next because it's blocked. So no, no reason to work on it. Any question? Okay. Next item, one containerized Java 17 Windows agents. Um, so Hervé, the idea was to switch all the Im agent images to Packer. You did that successfully, at least on the build part for the Linux container. So in order to finish that issue, we need first to start using uh, Linux container uh, built from Packer on CI Jenkins IO or at least on a test environment before deploying. And secondly, start building Windows uh, container. Um, does it look good for, for you? Should we split the burden there? Or do you want to proceed? Uh, it's good. Um... I won't mind uh, doing some pairing with you if you have some time. Yep. So I'm adding both of us and moving to next iteration. Uh, we could go faster by adding a custom made Windows image, but the build time are absolutely terrible. So if we have to spend some time, better to spend it on one definition rule them all. No question? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, next one, uh, open by team. We have some part of Jenkins IO that are built uh, on CI Jenkins IO and deployed from CI Jenkins IO that should not. So the idea is to work on moving that generation to either trusted or better infra CI. Um, I propose to postpone this one in two weeks when Stefan will be back because right now limited bandwidth. Yep, I agree. Um, publish acceptance test harness Docker image on release. So the idea is to have infra CI being able to build the Docker image for the acceptance test harness on the organization Jenkins. Everything is set up. A team described the need. That one should be quick at first step. So unless there is something uh, unforeseen, I propose we keep it on next milestone. Um, I need yes. to add a job, conf job DSL configuration. That's a few lines, three or four. And then that should be okay. Uh, I will ask team for validation. If it's not working as expected, I will postpone. Looks good for you? Yes. Unless someone wants to pick it. So updates removed because blocked by finish cleanup. Um, replace, so the CPU-Z machine, um, I will remove it from milestone. Mark, uh, share with me, shared with me the SSH key to that machine. So um, SSH key shared with me. There is no action there, except I want to try an experimental uh, uh, RubyGem installation of Puppet Agent because there is no package for that CPU architecture. Um, so it's not emergency and Mark will take care of that once he will be off. So that issue in itself is postponed because uh, Mark didn't have any time. Any question? Okay. 
Uh, alert fatigue, Datadog and pager duty. So thanks, Stefan and Hervé. Uh, you did very well on this one um, by disabling the issues. So uh, first, manual um, silent alert done two weeks ago, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or three weeks ago. And um, Stefan did appear to disable pager duty. So the monitor in Datadog is still alerting us, but since that monitor sometimes work, but most of the time does generate false positive, now it's silent. Um, next step require more steps, so I propose to postpone as well. Is yes, that okay, okay for you? Yes. No more false positives. Confirm that we received alert on service that failed last week. So thanks, survey for all of these new monitors. Of course, there is room for improvement, but yeah, that's not the priority for next iteration. Weekly release build does not resume. Uh, I need to spend some time on this one. That I thought it was a quick one, but some questions need to be asked. So I'm adding in the next milestone for the analysis part, just to be sure that uh, we want builds to be retried. Uh, team asked for valid certificate for trusted CI that requires configuring Lexant Crypt certificate renewal from HTTP to DNS in Puppet. Uh, no emergencies for this one, so let's postpone as well. Uh, there has been the same request for third CI, but same status. Both services are private, so we cannot use the default Let's Encrypt HTTP challenge. Um, so we need to create a restricted technical account on Azure that are restricted to one or two DNS records, and we need to add these credentials. So third bot can use this credential to uh, validate the challenge and create the DNS TXT record. Any question? Nope. Uh, collect Datadog metric for ephemeral virtual machine. So I'm adding that to next iteration. The goal is to install Datadog agents on the VM template on Packer. That's the goal for next week. Uh, I missed time to do that past uh, milestone. And then the next step after that will be to configure a controller to pass the Datadog API token and start the Docker agent service when starting agents. But that one is uh, will be in two weeks. Finally, last item opened by Daniel. It looks like there is a Twitter Jenkins dash underscore release account which feed on RSS. Uh, the RSS is uh, flu uh, flow is absolutely okay. Uh, the, the correct that time, correct plugin releases, and that Twitter account should publish tweets based on the plugin releases. But it's not working as expected. Uh, we are not truly really sure. Um, thanks, Gavin. Gavin pointed us different elements. It seems like neither Mark, I, Olivier, Daniel, uh, Gavin, or team have access to the account itself only Tyler, but that account might be running on where we run bots. I think it's the Puppet Master. Um, so we have to diagnose that part. I don't allocate anyone on this one. It's bonus for next iteration. That's analysis process. I'm not sure. It appeared that Oleg had ideas, but we don't know if he has the account access. If we cannot retrieve the access and cannot find anything, we will need to contact Tyler uh, personally. Any question? Okay. So the milestone can be closed. Uh, let's now check the if you have new elements. Do you have new elements, folks, on your own? So here on the bottom of my screen, you see the issues I've postponed. Um, 
Migrating pipeline Jenkins IOCN, it's blocked by uh, the Publish Pipeline Steps Docs Generator. Uh, Hervé, use case and repository for GitHub command ops. I saw you had it content. Is there any yeah, action but, to be done? Yeah, I'd like some more. Yeah, uh, it was an open issue for community to mm -hmm. express themselves, but I don't see a lot of commands, so I don't know. Okay, was there a community thread uh, on that topic? No, I didn't do that. To, to, if you want user feedback, that's a possibility. You might yeah. want to open a community topic linked to that issue to get broader audience. And yeah, I think that could be a good start. You could write a blog post, but that's that's a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, maybe convince a team to write a blog post. <laughs> nice try, nice try. <laughs> Um, the rest enable development, latest, start using GDK 17. All of these have been postponed uh, some another day. Uh, okay, I don't see new issues. Do you have uh, new ones on your own? Nope. Okay, so I think we can start the new milestone, Hervé. Uh, Oh, wait, no, uh, in order, uh, the release, I need to add the final notes to the GitHub release for the node generation there. Sorry? Um, when I want to publish that release, I need to add yeah. The, yeah, the correct note. Yeah. Okay, so I will do that afterward. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, uh, I'll take care of that. I don't have anything else. Do you have something else to add? Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Okay, so I'm stopping the screen share and uh, stopping the recording. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>